welcome to today's video it is a bit different it is a poundland ideas for stocking fillers where i've popped through townland to see what they've got in that would make the perfect stocking fillers for men women kids adults teens and everything in between this was new i'd never seen links for her before and you're right it's not christmas without links I like argan oil, so that's the perfect little stocking filler for me. Perfect price too. And we've got the detangling sprays and shampoos and conditioners for kids as well. I thought that was a cute little brush. Reach for the stars. Bit of glitz. And then we head on over to the sweets and bits and bobs. I showed those in the last Poundland video. But they are perfect stocking fillers, varying prices there. Sugar tax definitely hits though, doesn't it? Buttons, my absolute favourite. So many to choose from though. Loads of different um, individual rolls of sweets and chocolates. And then the selection boxes as well. And then I moved on. Oh yeah, I mustn't forget the chocolate oranges. Found the fudges and the chocolate bars that had the liqueurs in. Brandy, rum, cherry, and I think they had Irish cream. Yep, there we go. Now for the nail polish. I'm not a nail polish person, or really a jewellery person, but if you know someone who's into those things, these would be perfect little stocking fillers. Really good prices as well. Then we start looking at the preteens type section when makeup isn't just quite proper makeup yet still into their lol dolls lots of good little bits there for stocking fillers like i said the fake makeup as well it's not real makeup this is more the little little kids i suppose sort of your five and six year olds you see i had boys so i never did this whole disney princesses thing now see my boys would have been more into this bath slime and bath fizzes and that kind of thing the next things that I'm going to show you, I thought were really good for a baby's first Christmas. These little comforters, and they do a whole range of brightly coloured ones or more neutral coloured ones. All different animals. They've also got some cot or buggy, I don't know what you'd call those, buggy activity things. I don't know, I'm sure they've got a name. I should know this being an ex-child minder. And then they had the bath crayons. You've got to watch these because they don't always come off the children. I've tried them in the past. And then some squishy sensory animals. The perfumes. I've always been a bit not so sure about the perfumes. Honestly, I've never tried them. But I thought I'd change that and I'd try some of the testers. And you'll see from my facial expressions, some of them I liked. And some of them not quite so much. Lee, my other half, does buy the men's cheap aftershaves because he says they're like for wearing every day now you'll see the one that i like but unfortunately they didn't have any left in stock so for four pounds not bad then over to the pets section i don't know if anyone's going to do a stocking for their pets or if they're just going to buy them a christmas gift um i was very tempted with that hoe uh, dog chew dog raggy toy whatever you call it they've also got cat bits in there as well little jingly toys for the cats and loads of options for dogs I suspect my dogs would chew holes in those very quickly they're quite destructive I think those balls are quite small they'd have to be for a small dog otherwise they could be a choking hazard the Grinch I thought was wonderful and then those antlers were two pounds the reed diffusers they've got a wide range of reed diffusers in there and they are about the four pound mark. Socks, I bought some of these because they were so soft, really thick, and for two pound 50 for two pairs, I thought they were a bargain. Those ones I haven't worn yet, but the next set that I show you, these ones, oh, they are so soft. I wore them today, really, really so comfortable. I hope they dry well. I suspect they might harden up if I tumble dry them. Sustainable stationery. 
I was pleased to see that. And then over in the little crafting section and with the books and bits and bobs they had, lots of Christmas activity books, magic painting books, colouring for kids and puzzle books that had Christmas themes, all ranging from about the £1 to the £4 mark. I used to love magic painting as a kid. I thought that elf looked like he had chicken pox. <laughs> Um, like I said, loads of puzzle books as well. Something to keep the kids occupied maybe on Christmas Eve. Then I've got more adult colouring books as well, if you're into your colouring. And decorate your own Christmas plate for putting your Santa's treats on. These next things were well priced for little gifts for either stockings or to give to uh, kids' friends if they're buying gifts for close friends. These were good for stocking fillers. These couple of shelves here were all that stocking filler size. Even these I reckon you could use as stocking fillers. They were a pound each. Don't know how good they are, but worth a try for a stocking filler, right? I would like the fingerprint detective one. These I thought were a bit weird. This is a really good brand and usually really expensive. And I guess you mix and match them. So you know what the front end is, but you don't know what the back end is going to be. These are really cute. I think they make just perfect gifts as they are. I think they're wooden and the animals have got like a fuzz to them. Five Nights at Freddy's, still quite popular. This card game that you're going to see next, the... Um, Indiana Jones one that's just coming up here that looked really good and I really hoped I could find somebody in my brain to give it to but I just couldn't think of anyone who'd really appreciate it these are eco plastic so they're sort of recycled plastic bio plastic as well so biodegradable very good then we've got the little tech area um, most of the stuff was gone on the shelves here so that I'm assuming means they're very popular Computer accessories can be pricey, but £8, £12. And then some of the cheaper things like the clip-on lights, the wireless docking ports there, um, cables, phone covers. Most of the things tend to be for iPhones, I've noticed, and not for Android. Puzzle books, perfect little stocking fillers those, especially if you're doing a stocking for an adult. I prefer the uh, arrow words myself. And then these are sorts of things that Kenzie would love in his stocking, one of my sons, because he loves the coffees and the iced coffees. And then as I was leaving, I noticed these.